What is up guys, it's Mitch here once again and today we're going to talk about something slightly different uh, Filtered coffee. Now previously I would drink filtered coffee most of the time through a Hario V60 uh, which is my favourite style of brewing using a paper filter through a ceramic, plastic, glass, whatever. There's a million different ways there, well maybe not a million but there's a few. Um, I normally actually use plastic because of the good heat retention um, it heats up quick, stays hot for long, and it makes a great coffee. I've had some incredible coffees. I've had very special coffees through a V60 pour over. So what I would like to know is can I replace my favorite coffee without using disposable paper? Because millions of these go in the bin every year, and that's a lot of trees cut down for no reason, potentially. Um, if this can replace that, fantastic. Um, and this is the Sierra by a company called 39 Arita. So Sierra, I believe, will just be short for ceramic, being made of ceramic. Um, quite a nice little thing to, to hold. It actually feels really good, um, which is all part of the experience, right? So I have watched a lot of videos. I have had a coffee from this previously, and everybody has had the same... Mm, same amount of issues or the same issues which is number one pouring way too fast not holding the water for long enough to get a good flavor under extracting and just ending up with coffee flavored water um, that is not coffee or you go so fine to try to slow down the water and you actually end up with granules in the bottom of your carafe or your cup or whatever you're pouring into and that's not pleasant either so I want to find out today if you can find the way around that because the instructions are in Japanese and I don't read Japanese. So, I'm going to play with grind settings, temperatures, preparations, like do, does this have to be hot? I don't know. We're going to do that today and I'm going to find out if I can make this taste good and potentially stop cutting down trees. Let's get into it guys. I think the easiest way to show people how to do this is probably brew a coffee in the exact method and recipe as I would do a V60. Because if you know how to do this with your apparatus, then you, if we find an answer, you can kind of reverse engineer what I'm doing and go, well, I've done this on mine. This is what I'm going to do if I use a Sierra. So I'm going to do 15 grams in and 240 grams out, which is the 1 to 16 ratio, I think. Um, we're just using a Colombian medium roast. It's not ne necessarily a filter roast, but I've definitely had this as a pour over and it's great. It works just fine. So I'm going to do the brew exactly the same way as I would do as if it was a V60 and then adjust and then find out what we need to do to make a good coffee on this thing. So first thing I'm going to do is I've got the kettle set at 90 degrees Celsius. If you're in America or naked guy in Canada, um, you can do the math. I'm going to heat up the apparatus as I normally would, which is heating and it's also heating up down below. Then we chuck our coffee in. 15 grams in. I'm going to get it nice and flat. Little divot in the center is something I always do. I'm going to tear that bad boy and I'm going to start the timer as soon as I start pouring. And we're going to do a 50 gram bloom for 30 seconds. So 50 grams in and wait till the timer gets to 30 and it is definitely pouring quite fast. Uh, not crazy fast, but it's definitely fast. And then I'm going to stage the pours into two more pours just to keep it simple and round. As soon as we're at 30, 
we're going to start pouring and just chase those colours out. If you don't know what that means, probably watch some other videos on my pour overs. And we're going to stop at 120, that's 120 grams, and wait until about a minute 20 normally. Um, but in this case, the, bit, the coffee bed's probably going to drop fairly low because it is pouring quite a lot faster than a traditional paper filter method. Um, and you don't want the coffee to dry out. So we're going to go at 110, I'm going to start pouring again. And we're going to finish at 240 grams. And normally this recipe, it would take about two and a half to three minutes of total brew time from start to finish. I don't think it's going to take that long on this guy. So 240 grams. And it's definitely not going to take three minutes. Um, if I had another camera, well, if I had another camera set up, I'd show you how fast this is moving. But it's definitely moving quite fast. Um, generally, the brew is stopped once the water kind of starts dripping out, there's not really anything else coming. That means we're done. Um, but we are at two minutes now, and there's not a lot of water left in there. Yeah, so we're at two minutes and 10 seconds. Um, this is probably gonna be a fairly under extracted coffee, but I'm gonna clean up my mess, have a little taste, and we'll go from there. Uh, so a quick little note before I taste my coffee, um, is it is quite nice to just go and rinse that and throw nothing in the bin. Um, so in a, in a cafe, for example, you don't need to worry about running to the bin and you know that's not exactly a nice experience for the customer to see, throwing paper away. So, and it definitely has some really good heat retention. Um, picking that up, it was pretty hot. So that's another cool thing to note. Um, I'm going to use my little Kruv glass, and this is generally a fairly sweet coffee, so I'm going to use the Kruv, I can't remember what it's called, but this is the wider one, which brings out sweetness. There you go. So fancy. So I'm not going to drink all of it, because I'm probably going to have a lot of coffee today. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it is, it is under-extracted. I could definitely drink it. Um, I wouldn't enjoy it so much. But, it's okay. Um, I think the first thing to do would be do the exact recipe and just go slightly finer. Um, not espresso fine, but this is kind of your, you know, your medium to coarse. I'm going to go closer to a medium, close to something maybe like an AeroPress. Um, and see how we go. So I'm going to repeat the process I just did um, and the only thing I've changed is how fine the grinds are. Like I said, a little bit closer to sort of like an AeroPress. Um, let's see how we go. I'm going to start the timer and hopefully it goes a little bit longer than 2 minutes 10 I believe it was. So same bloom of 50 grams for 30 seconds at 90 degrees Celsius as well. So that nothing has changed. So already it's definitely a little bit slower. Um, I can sort of see from this angle you probably can't see. So I'm sorry, you just have to believe me. So 30 seconds in. Twenty grams in, and it's moving a lot faster. Now, there's a lot of things I could do here, like stirring and agitation, etc. Um, but I want to do it exactly the same way as I would do a typical V60 pour over, and how I would do it. And I believe you shouldn't have to agitate if you pour properly. That's my opinion. Tell me I'm wrong in the comments. That's cool. Definitely is a nice thing to pour. You can actually see on the outside of the ceramic the coffee coming through quite slowly. It is it's quite calming, quite a nice experience. Um, 
definitely looks more like a coffee already. Um, the sort of the way the bed's sitting, um, you can sort of see the oils and a little bit more flavour coming through. And it's, the time's looking better. Um, I don't, we're, not, we're definitely not going to hit three minutes. Um, but again, we're at the same sort of time still. Um, two minutes ten, and we're, we're done. I don't think this is looking very good. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to taste. So, I'm not looking forward to this because it's probably going to be identical in flavour. Um, and there's definitely a little bit of granules sort of floating around the bottom already. Yeah, not a lot, but there's a little bit there. And that's pour over a paper filter would have zero. That doesn't have. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So I'm going to go finer again and no I'm not because that defeats the purpose that's not going to achieve anything other than more granules so that's not going to solve the problem I am going to tell you that I've done some research and apparently there is a perfect recipe for this which is 24 grams of coffee in and 350 grams of coffee out which is about a 1 to 14 and a half ish ratio um, 60 gram bloom and then 150 gram up to 250 up to 350 um, I don't know the temperature I'm gonna do it slightly hotter um, because I know I brew quite cool so I'm gonna go up to your 94 degrees Celsius which is probably more of the industry standard that a lot of people use and we're gonna see what happens so I'm gonna get set up for that because I don't want to drink that and I'll be right back. I'm going to do something that I don't think I've ever done on the channel and actually follow someone else's recipe. Um, and the reason for that is I've got no idea what I'm doing with this thing. And the best way to learn is listen to someone that knows what they're doing. And the person I got this recipe from knows what they're doing. Uh, the two things that they didn't write was temperature. So your brew temperature. So I've just set that at 94 degrees Celsius. And how coarse to grind the coffee. So I've reverted back to the same grind setting that I did the first pour and the same grind setting that I would generally use for a pour over. And then we'll, we can adjust from there. I'm gonna get stuck into it and see how we go. Keeping in mind, this will take longer than two minutes 10 because there's more coffee, more water. And if it doesn't take longer than two minutes 10, I'm gonna throw this thing in the bin. I won't do that because it looks cool. Let's brew. Time is on, and 60 gram bloom, that's right, I can't remember. Sixty grams in, good looking bloom. Coffee's still coming through fast of course because there's no paper holding things back, the paper's obviously a lot finer than the ceramic. We're gonna go 30 to 40 second bloom, that'll do me, and then up to 150 grams. I will agitate slightly. Try to slow this down a little bit. And then the final pour. Up to three, 250? 350. We're already at 250. And I can see the coffee is becoming quite pale already. So there's probably not too much left in it, flavour wise. I will be surprised if this is a good coffee. I'm not going to lie. So that's the pour done. And the fact that we have done 350 grams of water over 24 grams of coffee and my brew time is pretty close to my 15 gram recipe, I'm concerned. That's done in 2 minutes 45, 2 minutes 50. I don't have high hopes for this one, I'm not going to lie. Um, 
But, we'll see. Pop that over there. Now, it definitely looks better. And on that grind setting, there's no sediment in the bottom of the carafe, which is a good sign. It's better. It's still not great. Um, it is slightly under extracted, but it's a definitely a drinkable coffee. So it works. Um, I don't hate it. Now, to answer the question that we kind of want to answer right, does this replace paper filters? Um, if you're in the middle of nowhere and you want a coffee, and you know you're, you're not pouring a geisha or a super expensive coffee, and you just want something to drink, that'll make a good coffee. Yeah. Um, if you've run out of paper filters, perfect. Um, it actually solves that problem because I've had that happen. I've run out of paper filters and you could literally just carry around that um, and put it on top of your cup and make a coffee, which is pretty cool. Um, but no, it doesn't replace paper filters in my opinion as much as I would like it to. Um, there may be a way to do this better, but to my knowledge and Within my experience, I can't see that ever being able to make an incredible cup of coffee. So, it works, it looks good, it feels nice, um, and it is environmentally friendly, which is great. Um, however, it doesn't make incredible coffee. So Japan, step it up. Um, I would like to see if they could make that finer. Um, that's that's all it needs. Um, now I'm no engineer and I don't know how we, how that happens, but if they could do it so it would pour slower, that would be probably my favourite brewer in the world because that's still hot and it's been sitting there for a couple of minutes. So I'm still going to drink it. Yeah, it's okay. I'll leave it with you guys. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Please like this as well. Um, That'd be lovely if you've watched it this far. And I think next time I want to make an AeroPress, but I'm going to do it a different way, a brew lab way. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day and happy brewing.